I agree with you. The retarded policeman is not funny. The first episode I saw, you know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe some, you know, handicapped guy is playing around with a bunch of his friends. He's trying to have a life, you know. You know, next thing you know, there's 15 episodes. Now, you can beat a dead horse. Oh, you just beat him because he's dead. But, you know, you can run something into the ground. The first episode was cute. You know, he's trying to stop somebody, whatever. Whimsical, fine. I'm sitting here commenting on a video, and I'm watching the movie The Ringer at the same time. So it's sort of... Remember The Ringer? Johnny Knottsville throwing the Special Olympics? You can keep on playing the movie. Oh, it's okay. So, but it's kind of weird that, um, for me to, I've watched two episodes of The Retarded Policeman or whatever. The first one I laughed because it was cute. Um, then I stopped watching it. Two episodes, eh, okay. It's not funny. Um, for me to watch the episode, <laughs> if you were commenting on it, man, I'm saying to myself, okay, now they're making fun of disorders that these people have. The guy's farting, farts out a cheeseburger. Farts out another cheeseburger. Farts out a damn chocolate shake, and he farts out the change. And it's the gross, childish comedy. Next thing you know, they're gonna put the the guy in a dress and say he's undercover. You know, some shit like that. I don't know, but you're right, Tom. You know, some of this foolery has to stop because it's 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 not only lame, as they write in the bottom of some of our videos, L A M O. It's not only, it's not only lame. But it's degrading, disrespectful, and or stupid. Stupid comedy. You can have a guy fart or throw some chocolate pudding on somebody else's face and pretend like it's crap and everything. <laughs> it's so funny. No, it's not funny getting crap thrown in your face. It's not funny when somebody has gas and you're trying to eat. People fail to realize how low comedy has sunk. You know, people thought when Lenny Bruce was dropping the end bomb and <gasps> now like you said, it's not funny anymore. You know, some things will make you smile, but shit doesn't make you roll around and grab your stomach. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. I mean, even uh, South Park, the movie, bigger, better, and uncut, remember that? That shit was slightly funny. Terrence and Philip was funny. But potty mouth humor, you know, it only goes so far. It's like like here we have a local DJ on one of the radio stations. He tries his best to be Howard Stern. Well, Howard Stern's fifty some years old, sixty some years old down there. Come on, you know, I'm forty years old. I'm not trying to be fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, or nineteen. If I can go back in a time machine, I don't want to go back as an old fucking man. I'd rather go back in an age machine and be young again. With the brain I have now, these people are stupid. What's funny is, come on, potty mouth humor has gone too far. Men in dresses, ooh, wow, gone too far. I mean, it's, it's boring, stupid, and degrading. Next thing you know... Like I said, they'll have uh, the retarded policeman undercover, having dressed up doing a prostitution sting or some shit like that, just for laughs. As a matter of fact, that would be funnier than this. The guy rolls up on a, the, you know, retarded policeman, and he spins around. You're under arrest for prostitution. You know, so this is you know, that would be funny. But it wouldn't be funny if he goes and does the act and then gets out the car. You're under arrest for prostitution. That would. You know, you get it? You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going? The joke would be funny to pull up on the retired policeman. He spins around in his dress on the horse stroll or all the prostitutes that he tells this guy, you on a date, big boy? Gets in the car and pulls out his badge. That shit is funny. But the producer of this show would probably have him put his head in the person's lap, then lift up with the badge. That's not funny. You see what I'm saying? You get to, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm talking to you like you don't know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. So, um... You're right. That's not funny. You know, you're paralyzed and shit, and you're not making fun of people being paralyzed, and you are paralyzed. <laughs> Hope it's somebody important. It's a 603 phone number. I live in the 707. How can I help you? A 
government insurance refund processor. Forty thousand dollars a year. Work from home, flexible hours. Processing government insurance refunds to homeowners. FHA refund notices. No experience is necessary. They're offering jobs, government jobs, no experience necessary. You know what? I'm going to hit the number one. Once again, they're giving out free government jobs, Tom. I got to go. See you later. I'm going to try to get one. <laughs> yeah, Retired Policeman, Episode 15, Part 2. Two thumbs down and a middle finger. Yeah, two thumbs down and a middle finger for that video. Thank you, Tom. See you later.